everybody. Welcome to Cruise Shop Save Live. It's Friday night. I am so excited because um, I have an amazing guest on today. His name is Tom Kearns. But before we do that, let me just ask you to do a couple of things so that this show runs really smoothly. If you're watching this on Facebook, if you go into the description of this show, there's a little uh, link to StreamYard and it just says click on StreamYard to allow your comments and questions to come through. Um, but if you can't seem to find it, don't worry. If you're watching this on YouTube, your comments come straight through as well. But welcome everybody. Welcome to the show. And without further ado, here is my special guest, the amazing, the legend, the veteran that is Tom <laughs> oh my gosh oh god i miss introductions <laughs> like that oh boy oh, not quite cruise right. but there you go <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow. how are you doing i'm doing great really i mean it's the dead of winter in chicago it's 10 degrees outside and oh. but i mean i have to show you something this is a gorgeous oh. day this you're you're gonna love this this yeah, is my city and this is where i live i mean oh my god you it's know the, the city is at my feet and it's just it's amazing yeah. and oh, look we yeah. have two beaches and yeah. uh i i think because it's so sunny i'm gonna go uh lay out for about five minutes after this and just get some sun <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just i think i right see somebody now. water skiing in the background <laughs> oh that's so funny oh. yeah, but please you're gonna be freezing Oh my, uh, yeah, dude, no, uh, that was a joke, yeah. <laughs> no, but it's a way to get vitamin D. Actually, it's warm up here because I've got this plant terrarium. These are the same plants Ooh. that have been here for eight years and they love it here. Uh, oh. You know, back when I lived in St. Thomas, uh, I, I love plants and I had them in, in my uh, condo and uh, I've raised these and they love it because it's, it's just, it's, it's like a terrarium. It's the 53rd floor. So I'm loving living up high, looking out over the city. Watching oh, all the planes, amazing. the yeah, sunrises, yeah, yeah. and the sunsets are oh. magnificent. For those of you that have me on Facebook and have seen some of them, it's just it's yeah. spectacular. So, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. great. My first winter in Chicago. <laughs> they gotta, they got to follow you because you do post amazing pictures of that gorgeous, gorgeous view. I have to yeah. share those, yeah. They're just too good not to, not to, yeah. not to be seen, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, so how are you now? Um, I have, you know, making it through COVID, uh, went through quite a lot of changes, but uh, did a lot of meditation and uh, soul searching and, and have pulled out really nicely. And uh, now it's time to thrive. I mean, this COVID-19, I, I think it's like COVID-22 now. When, when is it going to be? So like, <laughs> I, know. I don't know what, yeah, I don't get the 19 part, but, um, uh, you know, yeah. We're, we're, we're doing what we can. We're supporting one another and it's really brought the country. It's brought the world together in a way. Yeah. And, and now after, you know, uh, the inauguration yesterday, uh, it's like a weight's been lifted and we're going to yeah. see where everything goes. And it's very That's promising. Yeah. It's very, you know, I, yeah, I'm with you on that. I was 2020 was a challenge and it has brought about a lot of creativity because I know there's a lot going on with you. Um, and it's, but also like when it was New Year's Eve, cause we were in lockdown here in the UK. So I, me and my husband were sitting on the couch in our onesies. <laughs> Your onesies? <laughs> yeah. Sexy, you know. Yeah, Drinking. yeah, I had a onesie too. I don't think it was the same thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a different one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, it's you know it's the thing that you put on it yes, yes, you know. yeah. and i was just watching the clock and i was just like you know what i just want 2021 to come and it hasn't disappointed but you are a veteran and the reason why we call you a cruise ship veteran because we talk about everything cruise ship here is because you started working on cruise ships in 1987 Mm. I I remember it well too. I it was it was a fantastic time uh, to be traveling. Uh, you know the ships were so much smaller back then, and yeah. you know we were crew staff, and the crew staff we were the stars on the ships, and yeah, the yeah. people I worked with, you know, they were your family. Uh, yeah, they it were. was yeah incredible. Sit Mark cruises. Well, like how, wow. Um, <laughs> You're talking about Crusa, so here's a picture that you shared with me. Oh, oh my that. gosh. That is from Sitmar Fair Sky. 
gosh, yes. no way. That was going Sarah to Alaska, 1988. Oh my gosh, wow. Leslie Lauer. Oh my gosh, Marky Natio, Shane, Carolyn. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I forgot about that picture. Uh, yeah, amazing yeah. time. Alaska then versus Alaska yeah. now. The changes are incredible, but boy, yeah. you, you can see by that picture, that was that was a great team. And yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Tight. Yeah, I well, yeah, my first contract on ship was 96. And I'm still in touch with those girls now. I worked in the spa. I was the fitness instructor. I was the most unfit fitness instructor you ever met in your life. <laughs> wow. I but you got away with it. I mean, not to say too much. Back in the 80s and the 90s, the 80s and the noughties, you got you like you oh say, you gosh, yeah. stars, weren't you? The you know, the guests just revered you and butter wouldn't melt, right? Uh yes, because I, you know, it was early 90s when i went to the fitness industry on ships as well and uh some of the outfits i wore my gosh i it, it was like going to an olivia newton john uh 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 fitness class <laughs> they, they were completely different outfits back then so i can't remember but yeah i was teaching aerobics uh doing sit to be fit i remember that and oh, remember the walk that. a mile around the uh yeah right that was a good I one. That, that was well attended. And I yeah. did this, I did this art of relaxation class, which was like a meditational, um, you know, stretching using uh, my low voice, just kind of making yeah. everybody relax. And I put everybody to sleep halfway through, which was supposed to be done, but they loved it. Yeah. And using the right, right. it was a fun class. And yeah, it got good. At yeah. They ended up moving it into the main theater at one point because it got so popular. <laughs> yeah, actually that oh my gosh. I was on the old Nordam and we used to do sit to be fit. We used to call it something else, but I won't say it will keep it cool. <laughs> yeah. um, and um, we, they had to move me into the lounge. Everybody loved it because they were just so lazy. They couldn't be bothered to do any exercising. Yeah. But then what, we did the ship shaped dollars. Did you have the ship shaped dollars? Yes. We, it, it, was, it was like a cruiser size thing where, yeah, yeah. You, you yeah. run around the ship uh, at yeah. your own pace and you got, yeah, they, they, and then they could buy merchandise. You could use it towards yeah, merchandise. Right. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So uh -huh. You have someone here saying, hi, it's Paulette. Paulette. Oh, my gosh. She, oh, <laughs> Paulette. She's oh, she's one of my dear ones. You know, her and I worked, uh, gosh, the Panama Canal, Mexico Riviera. Uh, her, I what, think, what you know, Paulette Frankie do? Ford. I know Frankie Ford is there somewhere, too. Paulette was uh, our social hostess. She was amazing. <laughs> exuded such yeah. elegance class you know these were that you know the hostess was just oh yeah exuded such eloquence yeah. uh and back then on the ships you know people really dressed up to impress and uh i remember her so well uh her uh frankie Ford, one of our cruise directors and so many others Catherine ferrara um so many people back then that really made uh the team uh so memorable and and so many different age groups that that we all uh just had such commonalities and we were able to share that with the guests and yeah. we had amazing comments uh that that came from the guests oh, back yeah. and that was yeah. a really special time i love working with paulette <laughs> so hi paulette miss so, you. <laughs> um we got some comments on facebook they're not coming through onto Streamyard. i think um i don't know some people they do click on it and it doesn't quite work but we've got manuel um, saying Manny. COVID, no way. Oh, yes. I miss Manny. Manny, oh my gosh. He was one of the most well-liked people I worked with in one of the gift shops on Princess Cruises when I was doing trunk shows. Uh, gosh, really? trunk shows. Wow. And listen, right quick, speaking of trunk shows, uh, I, I was a trunk show host for 10 years, and I have to give such credit to the people of Sofia Fiore. Uh, oh, yeah. It was because of this company. I traveled all over the world. And the people I met, the, the connections I made, Mike and Natanya, Adam, the, these people were so important in uh, developing my career, uh, communicating yeah. with people, from, especially in China, in Australia, yeah. in South Africa. You learn so much. There's nothing, traveling is yeah. the best education uh, that you can get. And uh, uh, yeah. I owe them so much. So, yeah. they, really, yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, Emmanuel says, hi from Cosmel. Um, and Kelvin Edmondson said, what's up? Hey, Kelvin. Kelvin. Oh my God, Kelvin, <laughs> I miss you. We had some fun. 
We had fun. I don't know, remember where, there. but we did, I know. <laughs> Jeff Gordon uh, is amazing and super impressed. Yes. Nice oh, Jeff my gosh. Good guys. Hey, Jeff, we need to get you on the show. <laughs> oh, yes. He'd be fun. He would be a you it, guys. That's <laughs> awesome. Thanks for watching. Um, so, yeah. So, you were talking about being a fitness instructor. So, I have more pictures. Are you oh, ready? No, I don't remember what I sent you. Oh, dear. Let's, okay. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah. That was, so that was just beginning to build. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, yeah. You look, I, so, mm. you look hot now. Like, you still look well, good. I think my complexion was a little different back then. <laughs> so, but, Everybody's yeah. Hot. That was my outfit. Yeah. That was my outfit. This is where I got a lot of people to come to the aerobic class. Yeah. <laughs> I think you did. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You were flexible too. I was back then, yes. Uh, yeah. A little different now. <laughs> Not, I, it takes the twice the amount of time to like uh, do that. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'm with you there. I'm working you know, on it. <laughs> you've always, I know we weren't going to talk about this, but you've always dedicated uh, yourself. You, you've always been very dedicated to staying healthy and fit. And you always look so great. What's, what's, what drives that? What motivates that? It's, <laughs> I realized, um, you know, if you really want to make a great first impression and make it count, you have to look yeah. your best. And when you look your best, you feel good. And if you can put a little bit of muscle on it, <laughs> it wins a lot of respect, uh, you know, for, for a man, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it helped me uh, along the way. And the energy I got out of it was incredible. Yeah. I have to tell you, though, I never drunk coffee at all. I, I, and I had my first cup of coffee when I was cruising and this was in, and this is a beautiful, this is, I was in Venice, Italy on um, the Royal Princess, the first yeah. Royal Princess, 1989, um, yeah. in St. Mark's Square, uh, mm. listening to an orchestra play with some of the crew staff and mm. I'm looking around and everybody's drinking, you know, out of these beautiful cups, <laughs> uh, cappuccinos, cafes. I thought I'm going to have my first cappuccino and i couldn't stand coffee i didn't like the taste bitter and my first cappuccino i thought and, and it was a taste was okay it was a bit bitter but i realized about 15 minutes after that like i am mm, there's something to this i'm feeling awake and i was teaching aerobics and i could hardly get up in the morning to do that i thought my uh, ever since then i was hooked we went on a gondola ride after that and wow. i was drinking champagne and singing I, gosh i remember wow uh <laughs> But uh, that was my first time I ever had coffee. And ever since then, I've had coffee every day, I think, since then. But yeah, yeah. Well, right. that's, that's <laughs> I mean, and that's I'm having time. a mimosa. So here, cheers, oh, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> I'm drinking water. I'm doing dry January. <laughs> I should have had water. <laughs> well, oh. cheers. I love a mimosa. How yummy. Yes. So um, yeah. so the, I have some more pictures here. I have, oh, no. been, I have Let's been um, pilfering your uh, account. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You went through my so, Facebook. Oh, no. Let's I know. See. So wait for it. Oh, no. Um, no, we'll save that one for last. I have a really good one we're going to save for last. So we have this one. I still I, okay. in the same theme. Oh, as my gosh. Baby New Year. <laughs> wow. Happy New Year. Wow. So that was 1989, you. Baby New Year, with Father Time and one of our guests on board. Oh my gosh. Really? That was a happy time. Oh, this was an amazing. Okay. Funny story. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what the cruise, was, but um, it was 1130 at night. And this was back when uh, the ships were small and all the entertainment outs took place in the back decks. You know, all the bands were getting set up. There were three bands getting set up on different levels for the midnight run. We were doing the Mexican Riviera right. and they emptied the pool out. Uh, that day. And uh, about a half hour before midnight, they sent Father Time and myself down into the bottom of the pool. Um, I should have sent you that picture. Oh my God. Well, that's yeah. it. That's, um, and we realized, okay, that day it had poured down rain and there was a black tarp <laughs> over the pool and the tarp got wet and it got all the helium balloons wet as well. So all the helium balloons were sitting at the bottom of the pool. Uh, oh. which, you know, 
and and all and we realize okay these balloons are supposed to go up at midnight and be a huge happy new year explosion and there is nothing that's going to go up because of the rain that day but nobody knew this so right. we each asked for a bottle of tots champagne and we drunk every bit of that because we did not we, we thought we know what's going to happen and nobody else does so what are we going to do <laughs> everybody's starting to come out and they're doing a big conga line uh you know the band's playing there's a big big countdown and uh all of a sudden five four three two one the tarp opens and i'm passed out in the middle of the pool in my big <laughs> new year outfit and father time is kind of tossing the balloons that really had no helium in the up in the air people were like going oh, what, what? <laughs> It turned out to be the funniest thing. It actually, where it was funny, everybody was hysterical. Everyone was laughing. Yeah, they had to pull me out of there, and I had to stay up an extra hour and get pictures taken uh, for the rest of the night and get up and teach aerobics the next morning, which did not happen. No. That did not happen. No, that did no. not happen. Uh, uh, yeah, that was that's that. you. <laughs> but, yeah, actually, oh, that you reminded me. Yeah, kind of, you look kind of lit. There. <laughs> I was. That was a fun. Yeah. Yeah, we. <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> I've got uh, some more comments here, and you know what it is. I think uh, the names aren't coming through, but I have gr a great comment here. Uh, this person said, "I missed the beginning." Have you asked him what film he was in? Famous movie. We all have seen it. I know who this is from. <laughs> who is it? <laughs> It's my, it's my best, one of my best friends. I think it's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Oh my gosh. She's like, he's uh -huh. carrots for me. Okay. Not many people know this. And I didn't because it was like a split second, a split second. And this is probably going to lead up to, uh, which I think you're going to show the last picture. Um, <clears throat> I, for years, um, I did uh, this Polynesian fire dance. Okay. And um, uh, there was a short stint I got hired for. If you see it, you'll. If you see the movie, you'll. you'll it goes by like in two seconds, but it takes place at the. Um, uh, it, it it takes place at the bonfire. Uh, okay. There's a big bonfire built up, and everybody's dancing around the bonfire, and for a split second. There's a guy twirling a fire torch. That okay. fire torch twirler was me, and the movie was Grease. Oh! Oh, my God. I didn't know that. 1978. Uh, not many people do that. Yeah. Yeah. 19, I yeah, didn't it, have a it's, look at it's, that now. I, uh, yeah. It goes fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what a claim to fame. So now you're talking about the Polynesian... Fire dancing, would it be there? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Now, this is a funny story. This was 1987. I think uh, uh -huh. Frankie Ford was a cruise director. We were all in Acapulco. And uh, for anybody that's been to Acapulco, back in the day, there was this resort that a lot of the cruise ship people went to called, I think it was called Via Vera. It was like a tennis club up in the hills. And yeah. beautiful swimming pool, beautiful uh, tennis uh, club. We didn't play tennis, but it was a great place to lay out and had amazing food. And you could see the city of Acapulco below. And um, what happened is that I had drunk way too much tequila that afternoon. And I passed out in the pool somehow. We all, all the crew staff was up there. We all got really uh, inebriated. And... I don't know. Somehow we found our way back to the ship that night because we had the island night uh, fiesta on the back deck, all decorated up. Everybody's dancing, and I was the finale. Uh, <laughs> when I come down these steps, and and I, I, th I think Frankie Ford was like announcing me, and she was scared because everybody knew we were all kind of lit. But I'm trolling fire, okay, and <laughs> I am walking down the stairs. I come down two flights of stairs after the big announcement. And they had this great music build up. And I tried not to breathe hard because, you know, that could have made the flames even bigger at that time. But I came down. I went right to the front or the back of the ship. And I started spinning this fire really fast, uh, which I was known for. And uh, everything went amazing until I picked up the second one and started doing that one. <laughs> and 
it's just like I'm spinning and twirling and twirling. And, and uh, I think I only had one drop, uh, which was oh, wow. really, I, I'm surprised. But, you know, the thing is, uh, yeah, I was a little inebriated, but when I go in and I focus on something, it's amazing. Actors do this too, because I, I know many actors who go on stage who are not feeling well, even sick. You go on stage, you play that part, you forget everything, yeah. and and you perform. You perform, yeah. and this is what well, you do as an actor, as performing. Yeah, well even practice. port and yeah. shopping guides as well. When they go on, some yeah. of them, you know, are feeling like uh, really not really really down. You go on stage. Yeah. You get yeah. that energy from the audience. It blocks everything mm -hmm. out. You go and you perform like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. That was one of those performances <laughs> that mm -hmm. I locked out. Now, there was another performance right quick I got to bring up because this was in uh, through the Panama Canal. If anybody's ever been to the San Blas Islands, yes, uh, where, the, where the, nice. the Indians are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, this one was unforgettable, and this is a funny one because I was doing the same thing, another performance again that day. And you know how the Kuna Indians used to canoe out right up next yeah. to the ship? Yeah. And because there was live music playing on the deck. Again, yeah. I came down and I did my Polynesian fire dance and my little loincloth and all. And my finale is I throw one of the torches under my leg and I kick it way up in the air and I catch it 90% of the time. Uh -huh. And... Um, <laughs> This night, it was particularly a little windy, and um, the wind just kind of tossed that right over the edge, and it landed not on a Kuna boat, but it landed right in the water next to the King of Kuna's canoe. And oh uh, nobody knew, but, but the, the, <laughs> it was funny. Uh, and, and I turned around, and I just put my arms up. That's it. That's it. That's the finale. <laughs> People <laughs> loved it. They loved it. <laughs> but the next time coming back, uh, the Kunas never got that close to the ship any any time after that. I really? remember. <laughs> it, it was, was just time. like, oh, uh, yeah. 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 My friend um, Peter, my friend Pete of Cruise Solos, he's saying, good evening from Friesen, Buckinghamshire. Good evening, Pete. How are you doing? Thanks for watching. But he says, check this out. He said, I knew a fire act when, when he lived in Gran Canaria. He kept setting fire to the stage. <laughs> Oh, uh, that wasn't me. I didn't set fire no. to anything. <laughs> I never performed it in Grand Canaria either. But <laughs> uh, and, yeah. um, it was Elizabeth that made you reference the... I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> miss her. I miss you, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, she has some other stories too. But it's, yeah, her and I were amazing. Her and I were amazing on stage. We got to work uh new zealand australia together um i was a trunk show host she was uh doing the port and shopping program she was amazing and and we nice. both did uh seminars together uh gemstone seminars we would pack the lounges i don't think anyone that had never been done especially down there we yeah. would get well over 100 people in the lounge and uh wow. elizabeth's knowledge uh and and my oh, yeah. entertainment value <laughs> it worked uh -huh. so well together and we made so many sales together uh, i i miss her I, she's like she's like like my peas and carrots she's like the the better part of I working on ships I, I wish we could work together again but yeah <laughs> you're talking about elizabeth stern right Yes, Elizabeth Stern, yes. Uh -huh. She was on the first ever show last year in December. I know, and, I watched it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we want her to come back because you're absolutely right. She's very captivating yeah. and she's very knowledgeable. And a lot of people who go on cruises, um, they want to go shopping. And they have to be really careful where they go shopping because, you know. So she's very knowledgeable and she gets, she lets people know exactly what they're getting into because obviously you want to shop ashore, you want to save money and the quality and the collection is unbelievable. So she does really, really well. And um, a lot of, she still has a lot of guests that will only go on a cruise if she's on it. So, um, okay. Oh, here's another one. More Tom trivia. Ask him oh, what no. favorite singer asked him to dance at Sandy Lane. Oh. <gasps> uh, okay. Um, long time ago, um, I have to thank, and I will speak of this great lady later, uh, because, because of her, uh, I became really influential in the diamond industry. But in uh, Barbados, um, I was fortunate enough to do a corporate training. I, I'm just going to say this right. Um, I became, I worked for Diamonds International 
uh, since 92, 1992, all the way to, I believe, uh, well, 14 years, <laughs> 14 years. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, in the middle of that, uh, I was invited and by Jacob, who was the uh, general manager of the Diamonds in uh, Barbados. He was yeah. very good friends with the general manager of the world-renowned Sandy Lane Hotel in Barbados. Anybody that has ever been there, it, it just is jaw-dropping. It is the ex most exclusive resort in the entire Caribbean, but it, definitely. Um, I, I did a training seminar for our team in the golf shop. In the golf shop, this was the area uh, where Tiger Woods got married. That was a golf uh, resort where he was married. And yeah. after the training seminar, Jacob kind of set this up with the general manager and uh, he asked if I would stay uh, on the premises for three days and do a motivational training for their executive team, which wow. I, I thought, okay, I know jewelry. I don't know what, but um, he says, no, no, no. I like what you did. I, I liked how you influenced everybody and, and just made them feel confident and feel good. And you got everyone yeah. to laugh. And that was the whole premises behind my training program uh, of corporate training, romancing the stone and just uh, enjoying the experience and just making people feel good about themselves because that goes out to the clientele. And, and it was successful. The last day I was there, um, I was having uh, dinner at this uh, at the seafood buffet, and uh, the people that stay at this resort are who's who from you know uh, they're like the, the high the height of height of, of of clientele, and nobody takes pictures of anybody because you've like reached it. <laughs> you know, you've reached right, right, and, right. Um, but everybody's there in families and large groups. And I'm sitting all by myself and uh, just enjoying this sumptuous seafood buffet, which I've never seen anything like in my in my life. And no. uh, you know, the maitre d' comes up and talks to me. The waiter comes up and talks to me. And I think one of the um, guest services come up and and they say hello to me and ask if everything is okay. Well, I think this got the attention of people in in that were having dinner there, and uh, they're kind of looking over and they're thinking, "Who is this? Who am I?" And I was like, I got nervous because I, I, I could tell they were looking. This um, table sitting close to me, there was four top, four people. Uh, they leaned over when I had finished and they asked if I would like to join them for uh, a cocktail or a drink. And I said, absolutely, I would love to. It was my last night there. Um, so I went over and I joined them and, and I started uh, chatting with them. And, uh, you know, they wanted to know who I was here. And I said, well, no, I was here doing a, a training seminar uh, for the executive team, you know, motivational, influential, uh, and I worked uh, for Diamonds International in Barbados. And uh, I was talking to, he said, that is amazing. I would love for someone like, I'd love you to come do that at, at my castle. It, I, um, okay. I, I found out he was the son of Guinness Stout and his wife. And the other couple was the number one ranked jockey of Australia and his wife, really short guy. Yeah. But, I, but, okay, but <laughs> it gets good now because we just had an amazing time conversation, talking of everything. Uh, I did not end up going to uh, do any training with we, we, contacts, but, um, but we went to the private nightclub afterwards and they were playing really uh, amazing music and I love to dance. And I asked yeah. the wise that they wanted to dance. So I got up and danced with the wise. They were cool with that. And, and we yeah. just had a great time. And, and after I danced with them, um, uh, this beautiful woman gets up and, and asks if I would dance with her. And, I, and she was kind of mocha, mocha like skin color, like, uh, yeah. like beige, I guess. Um, yeah. And I said, absolutely sure. So I went up and danced. And, and, and um, no. we danced like, like two songs. And, oh, I, and afterwards, thank you. She says, you're a good dancer. I said, thank you. You're amazing. <laughs> you're beautiful. And that was it. That was it. I didn't know who she was, I, I, but she looked familiar. But this was years ago, years ago. Right. And the wife said, you know who this is? She had just left Destiny's Child. And this was before Dreamgirls had opened. It was Beyonce. Oh, I, it, it's no. like Beyonce asked me that, and we just like had a moment on the dance floor. Oh, but I mean, that was it. God. Yeah, these are the type of people that stay there. Rihanna, Beyonce, they're they're dear friends, and and I guess they yeah. frequent there every once in a while. And, yeah. and nobody says anything. Nobody says, but she asked me to dance, and oh, it was amazing. God. Oh my gosh! But the end, of that, the end of that trip, though, I was uh, to fly home or to fly back to St. Thomas, and. Um, uh, the guest services come to my uh, room, which I did not want to leave. Uh, that was a, an experience itself. 
And they said, I mean, your, your uh, car is ready to take you to the airport. And, and so I go and, and check out. And I'm looking uh, through the lobby at the, at the beautiful driveway. So, I'm, um, uh, so you said their car ready. I'm, uh, she says, yes, your car is ready. And I said, okay, I don't see a taxi. Or I thought maybe from Diamonds International was coming. He says, no, Mr. That's your car. <laughs> and everybody is picked up in a Bentley. And it was my first time to ever be escorted oh with a driver in a Bentley all the way to the airport. Oh it, my I was God. on cloud nine the whole trip. Oh my gosh. I but it was, uh, you know, and people are looking at the airport when you get out. So I played the part. I just lived it up and just <laughs> straight <laughs> right to the <laughs> that was the story yeah, of Barbados. That, yes, that was Sandy Lane's I love experience. That I hope that didn't go too I'm long. Never yeah. <laughs> I've never danced with Beyonce. I can't. That's such a great story. What? A, oh my God, that is such a great story. You. That's a great story. Well, here's a comment. <laughs> Someone said here, Tom, you're amazing. I love your beautiful story. Please continue till I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. It's not pulling the names through, so we're not. I'm not sure who that is. Um, but we've I got bet it's. I think here. I know. Okay. Um, we got a comment from Lucy Cowley. She says, "You're fabulous, Tom." Lucy. Oh my gosh, um, Lucy. Good to hear from you. Good. We've got a comment from Kasanka. Great things happen here. Yes. Great thing. Well, actually, I have um, one more picture actually. And here it is. How about this? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, this says so much because this is where it all began. Yeah. Um, really the industry and, and I'm, I'm, you know, but I'm proud of it. I, I, mm. I'm probably blowing this up a bit much, but I'm so proud of this. No. This, these were the first 30 people, uh, that started diamonds international. Wow. You will see Albert Gad. You will see Wendy in the middle. You'll see Morris. I'm in the third row. <laughs> and yeah. uh, this was like Which the 1992 Hollywood party. Uh, oh, yeah, I can see you. I mean, this was the uh, holiday party. <laughs> I said Hollywood party. Holiday oh, yeah. party. But right. um, I'll tell you, and I'm speaking for so many. I mean, there's so many great people that learn. Like, I have to name, you know, like, like Lauren Bacot. Lauren, Lauren um, who, Lauren... Important shopping guide. Lauren Stratton. Lauren yes. Lauren, yeah. like Yvette, Christina Cox, Shelby, Sydney yeah. Coates, Big Bob, um, yeah. Mansky. Oh my God. Names, you know, Dave Mardin, yeah. you, Melissa, Laura Lieberman, Jeff Rendell, Jeff Mosley, all of these people. Anything wow. uh, through diamonds, we all learned so much from this great yeah. lady, Wendy Tarapani. Um, she will yeah. for always ever be the queen of diamonds. Uh, yeah. She really revolutionized how people bought diamonds, and and the industry just went. Her and I and Moshe Hakimi opened the first uh, Diamonds International in uh, St. Martin. I remember this wow. small little store, and look at St. Martin now. Yeah, and um, yeah, those were it molded me, and and it really created. This is where I found my passion. Uh, yeah. for uh, beautiful jewelry, selling, influencing people. Uh, developing a training people uh, uh, for training people on how to, you know, find commonalities with people and and just entertain them and romance the heck out of them. This is what the experience was about in the Caribbean and yeah. in the cruise industry, and it built up such a recognition and uh, a beauty that you know is always going to remember, and it's going to move forward after this and. All these right. islands that have, you know, suffered tremendously because of this. Yeah. If that, I could just say, if they can just hold on, because we know the industry is going to come back. It's going to be different, but it's going to thrive again. And uh, I, I, I hope I can be a part of that when that happens again. You will. In some way. And uh, we just look forward yeah. to seeing everybody and uh, just hope it yeah. moves forward. And it will. It really will. So those are the people yeah. that really were an integral part yeah. of what built me up. And uh, yeah. I'm so thankful to them. Yeah. We have so much to be thankful for. And, you know, when I when I was on cruise ships and I was a shopping extra, and I used to go to St. Thomas every Friday, and I was in – I respect – I respected Wendy and just, and back then, I don't know what it was like when it got busy, but you were able to sit with Wendy and talk with her and Abe um, and, and really get to know them. And I have a little story, a tiny little story. Um, 
So I think it was, I mean, St. Thomas is a busy day. It's the capital of shopping in the Caribbean, right? But this, it was my last day. I'd done like a nine month contract. And Wendy, <laughs> Wendy said, come out on the boat with me. And I said, I can. I, I mean, she's like, Say your thing. Come out on the boat with me, and and we and I did, and it was so fantastic. We went to Virgin Gorda, one of the little islands. Oh, oh my gosh! And I'll never forget time, it. it. Time stands still there. Yeah, yes. Good for you. And it was just such an amazing day, and I do not regret taking that day. I and mean, you know what? We still had a good day. But what I love about the job was I used to tell people, you know, you're on a cruise, and it's all about memories. You're taking pictures. You know, you're meeting new people, you go into all these great places. But the one thing that lasts forever is the piece of jewelry that you're going to buy because you'll remember, you will remember where you, every time you look at your ring, your necklace, whatever, you will remember <clears throat> where you were, what year it was, the people that helped you buy it, the where you, you know, the store, the person that sold it to you, the feeling, the champagne that you drank. It's better than any kind of picture that all the memories are just locked up in that piece of jewelry. And every time you look at it, there'll be people watching this now that have bought jewelry on a cruise and they'll be looking at it going, yeah, I remember where I was. And I remember the person that sold it to me and I remember everything, yeah. right? Absolutely. That was, and, and you know, um, to add to that, we learned so much uh, from these people and, and, uh, uh, the entire party, they're, they're personal friends of mine, Wendy, and, and spending time with them socially and uh, having such a uh, respect for how they ran the business, uh, yeah. look where it went. And But this is what you remember. And, and oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. emotional times and, and exciting times and laughing times. This is why mm -hmm. we're here now, you know. But, yeah. oh, my gosh. We're they, nice young friends. Great for those memories. And, I have um, – oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm from Vienna. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, he sent me a message earlier. I'm from Vienna, beautiful place. I've been to Vienna, gorgeous place. Yes. You can see USA and London. I love to support you until I fall asleep. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, Vienna is a place I'm going to be traveling next. Uh, I, yeah, oh, it's there's gorgeous. something going yeah. on there. So, yeah, I, yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. <laughs> and then um, we'll travel. We, have, we have another message from Bruce Worthington. I have known Tom for over oh, 40 years. Oh my gosh. Years. And his enthusiasm and love for what he does is a thousand percent sincere. He thrives on making others' lives better. I a hundred percent agree, Bruce. I, I do, yeah. Thank I mean, you. I, Thank we you. have that... to have him back on this show because you're just so positive, and everybody loves you. Oh, <laughs> make me emotional. This <laughs> I'm going to the beach now. <laughs> oh my gosh, we really it's just. We more of this needs to be done. The support that goes out to uh, everyone. It's so good to touch base with the people that we haven't seen that yeah. um, really we, we had developed amazing memories with. I miss I all of you. I can't, I hope to see you. you. This is why we want this to come back and, and it will, and it will. We it just will. I hope you find it a will. way. <laughs> it will. Uh, um, I am, um, you know, I, I was just saying to you before we went live, you know, it's on a Friday, you know, with the working week, the end of the working week, and you've usually got plans for the weekend or whatever. And at the moment, you know, here in the UK, we're in lockdown. I don't know what it's like there. And so this Friday night show, like, boosts me up because I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to talk to someone really cool and everyone's going to be watching it and commenting. So I'm really, really grateful for everybody watching, for, for all my guests and for you, Tom, and I really want you to come back. Um, I would love to. <laughs> you promise you will? Yeah. Okay. I good. would love to. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, oh absolutely. More stories. <laughs> More pictures. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the message. I think this is from Elizabeth. Love you uh, both. Miss you guys on this Franklin Friday. Franklin Friday. Yes. <laughs> you guys. She got it in. She got it in. <laughs> good vibe. Good vibe. Another no. amazing one. I know. Oh, this is great. So I, I have run out of photographs, but I, I've got a funny feeling that actually you have a million more photographs and a million uh -huh. stories. And so we have to have you back. Um, will you promise that you'll come back? Sometime? Oh, I, I promise. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. This was fun. We have to cool. do this. <laughs> it, it, 
I can't believe it's like, well, we can keep talking. About, but so if anyone's watching this, if you want some positive news, uh, well, you know, we try to keep it positive, but we are entrenched in the cruise ship industry and in luxury retail. Um, we have um, cruises that we're planning next year, uh, which are luxury shopping companion cruises, because Tom and I and everybody watching this, Elizabeth, uh, people out there, we have done shopping for so long. We know all the little secrets and all the great things yep. that you can see in places like Turkey and actually also Vienna on the River Danube. Um, so we're arranging some really exclusive shopping trips. So you're in our group. You, you will have us all to yourself and we will take you to some amazing places and build some amazing memories. Right, Tom? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, you just gave me goosebumps. But it really is because uh, the people that we have contacts with and we're connected to, this is going to be a luxury type of a, a concierge service that uh, is going to be so beneficial uh, for everyone that uh, takes a cruise with us, I want to say. <laughs> and it, yes. it's really, uh, this, is the next, this is the next level. And it I is. can't wait to see this go. It is. And it's, it's all groups, yes. Yes. Uh, um, yeah, so our first one is in January on the brand new Regent Splendor. 18-night uh, cruise, Miami to Miami. We go everywhere. It's better to tell you where we're not going <laughs> than where we are going. <laughs> and, but um, we hope to have as many people as possible on that cruise. We're going to have so much fun. The Regent Splendor is a brand new Regent ship. Brand spanking new. It's a sister ship to Regent Explorer. As you know, the Regent Explorer was nicknamed the most luxurious cruise ship in the world, and it is. And wow. the prices are ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I, if anyone's interested, um, if you want to go over to Luxury Shopping Companion, we have a Facebook group. Um, if you go there at Luxury Shopping Companion, we have um, the groups up there. We're always posting things about luxury stuff as well. So uh, make your way over there. Um, but if you're interested in uh, getting all the cruise news, follow us in this group, uh, Cruise Shop Save group, and you'll get all the information. If you have any questions for Tom or for me, then stick them in the comments below. Let's have one last look on Facebook and see if anyone's uh, made any more comments because um, we haven't got any more comments coming through. But let me just check. Uh, Monique, uh, Monique Holder and, ah, oh, Sergio, they're watching. Monique and Sergio are watching. Hey, how are you? Did you, did you ever work on Oceania? Yes, Charles? yes, I love Oceania, but who, who is? Do you remember Sergio, he was the boutique manager. He was always there. Oceania Riviera. Oh my gosh. See, <laughs> another amazing memory. Oceana. Wow. I loved every contract in Oceana. The itineraries. Uh wow. I love yeah. that. I miss that ship. No. I miss Oceana. Yes. I miss all of them. Can't uh, wait to Viking, back. Oceana. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All great ships. And we will be back. We will be back. I'm counting on this, definitely. <laughs> right. Oh, it's exciting. It's gonna be very exciting. This is exciting. Well, thank you so much for your time, Tom. I really, really appreciate it. Um, we're going to have you back. We have to. We'll have Please, you back. Maybe we'll to. have some other people. Maybe we can get Big Bob and. We, yes, yes. Yeah, we whole the group. Yeah, that would be fun. Oh, I miss Big Bob. Fun. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be so much fun. Well, whatever you do, have a great day. Enjoy your sunbathing on that there beach. <laughs> there we go. Five seconds oh, is all. <laughs> What of you? <laughs> what of yeah. you? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll be back next Friday with another special guest. It's our good friend Lucy Cowley. Lucy, She'll be here next week. Lucy makes me laugh so much I nearly pee my pants usually. So, well, who knows what's going to happen next Friday? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, to everyone out there. Uh,